Hi everyone, it's me, B at Akali Sunflower. So I'm on again to do my personal readings. Okay, I, I would like to note first of all that this is for entertainment purposes only. So let's just have fun with this, okay? Okay, so today I'm going to do a personal reading for Alethea, the truth seeker. And her question is, what type of career path would benefit me? So the deck that I'm going to use for this reading is this one here. It's called the Ephoral Visions Tarot. Oops, sorry for the glare. And that's by Matt Hughes. And I just felt that this deck suited Alethea's personality. Okay, um, the Ephoral Visual comes with this kind of guidebook that kind of outlines what the card meanings and stuff. Um, I will put a link to this deck in the description bar, should anybody wish to get it afterwards. I hope that um, people can relate to this reading. Okay, so let me start the reading. So, as you know, before I shuffle the cards, I like to make sure that they're kind of like upright. So let's just check that these cards are in the upright position. I've, I've also um, kind of cleansed them with polycente. One's upside down. Because the reason why I like them to be upright is because the re I read reversals and reverse cards have a different meaning. So at least then if, if they do appear reversed, that means they've been shuffled that way and not that way to begin with, if you know what I mean. Okay, so these look like they're upright. Okay, as I said in my previous um, personal readings video, I actually um, have names for some of my decks, not all of them. And this deck here, I tend to call her Ethel, because she's quite a chatty um, kind of deck. So I'm going to shuffle the cards offline and ask the cards for advice for Alethea's question. Okay. Ethel, how are you? I hope you're good. So Ethel, I'd like to ask you a question. And the question is, what type of career path would benefit Alethea? What kind of career path would benefit Alethea? I would love your advice on this. And I'd also like you to connect with my guides. So, Ethel, what kind of career path would benefit Alethea? So, let me give these cards a good shuffle. done with the shuffling. Right. Let's see. Okay. So Alethea is a Virgo. And I usually kind of like connect two cards with Virgo. That's the High Priestess and also the Hermit. But because the Hermit card is kind of like a card that likes to be in isolation, I'm going to actually select the High Priestess card for this reading to represent Virgo. So let me see, I've got a feeling it's going to be at the back of the deck. Just Okay, there she is. Okay, so let me um, lay her out. I hope you can see all these cards. Let me ground her 
with my lapis lazurite stone. One, two, three, four. Let's bring her down a bit so you can see them in the camera. Let's do the, the latter one. Okay, that's one, two, three, four. Right, let's see what these cows have got to say. I hope it's clear in the camera. This is quite a clean cut deck. Okay, so the High Priestess. Okay. So, the High Priestess is usually about intuition, knowledge, and all, you know, and being in touch with your um, kind of like spiritual side. But the reason why I kind of think this card is good to represent Virgo is because um, she's meticulously tidy and thorough. She's also um, quite a perfectionist, which I think Virgo kind of represents. Um, She's very, very hard working and, um, you know, she's the first, first person to roll up her sleeves and get into a job sort of thing. And she kind of like worries a lot about life and then kind of like criticizes herself. She can also be like a bit of a um, nagger too. Now, with regards to like um, careers, um, the careers that suit like a Virgo to me are like conflict res resolution, you know, because um, she's surrounded by the moon and sometimes the moon can make things um, seem like they're not. So conflict resolution is a good job for her. Um, kind of like a librarian type of job because, she, you know, um, the high priestess is also all about knowledge and stuff. A psychic, you know, because it's about um, mystical and the unknown. Um, a nun, I would say as well, because of her kind of like prudish nature at times. Um, probably a detective as well, you know, because she, she likes to search for that knowledge. Um, an endromologist, because um, Vir Virgos, when it comes to kind of like health issues, and also this card is about internal health, look, you know, looking at internal health. So I think an endromologist will also be good. And also, um, kind of like a psychiatrist kind of sort of like job. Right, so this card here um, is the, usually the reason why, you know, the reason. So the reason why Alethea um, is looking at her career path, or, you know, or wants to know what type of career would be suited to her, is this card here, which is the um, Queen of Cups. And to me, the Queen of Cups is all about kind of like nurturing. So it could be, Alethea, that maybe you've been out of work for quite a while and, you know, you don't feel nurtured. Or it could be a thing that you're actually in employment now and it's not been anything kind of for you. Or I, it, it could also be as well that maybe you've got an additional member of your family um, living with you and you need to kind of like find extra money to make your household financially buoyant. Um, it could also be as well because the Queen of Cups is also about um, grief as well. Sometimes to me that's how I interpret this card because it's an emotional card. And it could be a thing, I mean I'm sorry to get personal, but it could be a thing that you might have had a recent separation and there's been a, a lack of um, income or it could be that another income holder in your house has become ill and and or maybe redundant and the income isn't kind of like enough in your um household okay so let's look at the um basic issues which are the corners so it's the queen of cups and then it's this one here the ace of swords and then it's this corner here which is world 
and then it's this corner here which is the seven of cups so the queen of cups um with the swords you know this to me is, is about like new beginnings and it's like you want to take action um you know obviously you're, you're, you're thinking about your career path it could also be as well that you're actually in a current job that you want to leave you know so it could be that too um this one here the world and the seven of cups um the world is all about completion and endings and the seven of cups is about choices so it could be um a thing that um you know like your com I, I know that you're in your 50s so it could be a thing where you're thinking about doing something that you really want to do f for the ending journey of your life you know for the clone sort of like journey of your life and you're looking into the choices that are available now i do know that the world um kind of card um careers that kind of affect this card are usually careers in government or land or natural resources they're basically jobs that can be used worldwide or jobs that where you have to interact with different people from the world it could even be like teaching as well you know or jobs in relation to rules and regulations that that would suit you quite well as a virgo because virgos are kind of like law abiding kind of um people so let's look at the internal issues so the internal issues are strength the knight of cups the queen of pentacles and the hermit okay so the strength card to me is all about um you know kind of um finding inner confidence yeah so it could be a thing where you've kind of like might lack a bit of um confidence in terms of your career path you know kind of um careers that i that i find are associated with, with strength are kind of like jobs that involve caring for animals and people um that, that, those, those sort of um jobs or even jobs that require public recognition such as a dentist or human resources that sort of thing so i i, I just think that you're trying to find confidence and just maybe looking at those sort of jobs or you might even even be in those sort in that sort of job now so the knight of cups to me is saying that you know that you wear your heart on your sleeve and so i think you are looking for more of a job that involves compassion and working with people i do, I do feel that you're a people's kind of um person um the queen of pentacles is a person that wants stability yet yeah, so you are looking for something that's going to be like kind of long termish and kind of permanent and also as well um money is quite important to you i'm not saying that you're greedy but i'm saying that you also want to be you know because you, because you are a perf perfectionist and a workaholic you know you, you don't mind working hard for your money stuff like that um the hermit card to me is another card that i would have associated with um virgo as well um but the reason why i didn't kind of like use it as a um main card for this reading is because virgo is all about kind of like um solitude and being by yourself and stuff like that and because the question was about your career path i didn't find this card appropriate but it could mean it could be that you're that you've been taking time out a lot to think about you know what what sort of career paths um you're more suited to and kind of careers that are um associated um with the hermit are um kind of like careers in writing yeah um it it could be things like proofreading um editing because you know and stuff like that 
you know, computer software, even like postal sort of service or shipping, yeah. Um, also kind of like healing jobs and, you know, teaching jobs. But this could also be as well that you've actually been taking time out to think about what you really want to do. Okay, so let's kind of look at the, the immediate path, past. So, again, you're kind of looking for a job, um, you know, or, or it could be that you're actually, you've got strong emotions about finding the job. Because I, I do believe that you're kind of like traditional in terms of work. I do believe that you believe that you must work for your, for your lifestyle and not be given things on a golden pedal store. So I think that you've um, put a lot of deep emotional thinking into this. Um, you want a career that deals with compassion, you know, um, that's even kind of like romantic in a, way, in, in a way, yeah, and you've been looking at the choices, this is, this is the Seven of Cups, you've, you've been looking at the choices um, that are available to you, I think um, that you've kind of like been lacking confidence in this sort of area, or even just feeling a bit unsure or a bit nervous and in your career path. And I think that you just want to kind of finalise it and, you know, put it to an end. So let's look at your current situation. So that will be the strength, the high priestess, the queen of pentacles, the knight of cups and the hermit card. So you've been, as I said before, kind of contemplating on, on this. Um... I've just got a feeling that you're, that I'm just getting the word spiritual healer here or spiritual advisor. I don't know why I'm getting that, but I, I just think that you, you want, you're looking for a kind of career that would be more spiritual based and um, healing people sort of thing. And um, you, you, you're not afraid to put in that hard work to do that so you're a kind of person that you don't even mind working 24 hours a day you, you know you, you're putting that hard work to have that comfortable life and to be paid well because money is also quite important to you um sometimes of you you are kind of like an emotional person and I've got a feeling that sometimes you kind of like take the job to heart um please don't do that Alethea um Again, you know, um, I've got a feeling it's going to be like, more like a spiritual kind of job where you're giving people spiritual knowledge and advice. And I think that with the Hermit card, you've taken a lot of time out to think about this. You might have even have done some short studies in this area or like some kind of research. So let's look at the conclusion kind of bits of it. So you've, had, so you've got several choices in where you want to go. Um... Money is important to you, so you, you, you're prepared to put in that extra work for, you know, for this job. The um, Ace of Swords is all about new beginnings and um, taking action. Could also mean that you want to leave your um, kind of current job. Um, so you've got the world, which is th that you're looking for to complete this kind of journey in your career path. The Hermit, where you've taken time out to kind of like think about it and maybe study. And the Ace of Swords, where you're kind of like slashing through, through the obstacles, you know, looking at the new, new beginnings and just deciding on what action to take. So there's many career options here, Alethea. But I, because, you know, it, there's a lot of compassion kind of cards, I do think that, I do feel that, um a job that, in, or, or a career that involves spirituality or kind of like emotional healing will kind of suit you. And because the world card, to me, is about the world, <laughs> yeah, and completion, it could be a thing that your job takes you all over the world. It could be a thing where you might be internet-based as well, so you get different customers from different parts of the world. So you've got a lot of options there, Alethea, and um, I hope you can resonate with what I've told you. Um, I also hope that my viewers can also resonate with this reading.
thing that I forgot to say um, in terms of the um, Ace of Swords, that's for career sort of like path. The Ace of Swords is also to do with careers of bravery. So that could be like the police, the army, the kind of armed forces, you know, um, that sort of thing. So that could also be a career path that you could also have an interest in or have had experience in. So that's a fault. That's a um, you know, a tool for fault. But I'm still getting um, spiritual advisor, stroke healer with you. So be really good if other people could comment in the comment bar just to see you know how they felt about this reading because it's always nice to have a different kind of spin on the cards because the cards do read differently for different kind of people or people see things differently in the cards, don't they? Okay, so thank you so much for watching and you'll see me soon. Take care. Bye.